If you've bought a new RV in the last two to three years, you most likely have a 12 volt refrigerator. We're gonna talk about the operations and the most common problems you have with a 12 volt refrigerator. Let's talk about that. Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hi, I'm Brian with the NRVTA. We're gonna talk about the operations, common problems, and the basic maintenance that you need for a 12 volt refrigerator. The first one we're gonna talk about is gonna be the operations. It's a very simple product. Uh, you basically have your control right here that you turn it on, adjust your temperature for both the freezer and the refrigerator. This one here has fans now, and it also has a compressor, just like the one at your home. In the freezer, you also have the fan control, where it adjusts the fans uh, for both lower and upper in the freezer and the refrigerator. So this is a basically a residential refrigerator. The only difference is it runs on 12 volt versus 120 volt. One of the things that I want you to understand about this refrigerator also, the difference between it and absorption is that you don't have to really particularly worry about it being level. We've always worried about our RV refrigerators being level. Level is good, but you don't have to be perfectly level with these. It's, like I said, it's more like a residential style refrigerator or a compressor style refrigerator. These things cool down a lot more with a absorption style refrigerator would take eight to 12 hours to cool. This will actually cool off within about an hour. The great thing about having a 12 volt refrigerator is it runs off the coach battery and therefore it'll stay cool while you're driving down the road. Unlike the absorption style, it is a safer way to travel without having your propane on. All right, so let's get into the most common problems that you'll have with the 12 volt refrigerator. Low voltage. Low voltage, we wanna make sure that the battery's charged and it's well taken care of and maintained. That's gonna be able to keep you to where you can run your refrigerator while you're driving down the road. One of the most common problems when they installed these refrigerators is the different size cabling. Since then, the wiring has been corrected. If you're within 12, 13 feet, a 12 gauge wire was fine. But if you're further back in the RV, an eight gauge wire is required due to the drop in uh, amperage going down to it. One of the other common problems that people don't realize that it's new to the RV world on these 12 volt refrigerators is being able to adjust the fans. If your freezer is working and it's doing a good job of freezing, but your food in the lower section is staying warm, your freezer fan can actually be changed to where more air is blown through the refrigerator part to keep it chilled better. Your fan control is right here in the back of the refrigerator. It's usually gonna be set from max to mid. If you need it to be colder in your refrigerator, all you have to do is move it to minimum. Your food will stay frozen in the freezer, but it's gonna push more cold air down to the refrigerator to keep your refrigerated foods cooler. Let's dive into a little bit of maintenance on these refrigerators. They're very good refrigerators, much like they are at home. The only difference is they don't have cooling coils on the very back. So you don't have to worry about pulling it out to clean it on the backside. Where I will tell you is where all dust ends up is up underneath. When you have it on your RV, you'll actually have a little spot. I've got about three quarters of an inch right there. I take my crevice tool on my vacuum cleaner and I get all the dust bunnies up and out of there to where it stays clean because the compressor is on the lower side, the bottom side of the refrigerator. If you have pets, that's a really good one to clean and put that on your maintenance list at all times. The other thing that I'm gonna tell you is we need to make sure that our door seals are kept clean so that they make good contact with the refrigerator itself but I wanna make sure that I'm getting a good seal all the way around. Another way to test that is the dollar bill trick. Go all the way down and use dollar bill to make sure that there's a, it's holding tight all the way down. If you do have a loose seal somewhere, a blow dryer, not a heat gun, but a blow dryer to form it out a little bit and it will help it out. Don't get it really close, just warm it up a little bit. The other thing that I will tell you is to make sure that you are cleaning 
the inside. These do freeze up. You don't want to use an ice pick or a knife or anything sharp to clear that ice. Just simply turn the fan down, open it up for a little while, and that ice will come out. If you get an error code on your snowflakes on your lower control board and you don't know what it is, call the manufacturer. They'll tell you what that error code is and you can call a certified tech. You can find a certified tech on rvhelp.com to have it fixed. And there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors. And now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, Roll the bloopers. To, or you don't, mm, this is a, um, use the battery off of your coat. See, I did it again. Or the cable, mm, the battery problem uh, repaired or it has been replaced. Corrected. Corrected, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, uh, trying to get my words here. Sorry, I had it and I lost it. You need tape on the floor, man. And if, see, I did it again. You're doing fine. I just want to get to, and there's your tick tip, tick tip. See, I can't even say that right anymore. Your tit tap. Tony? Gosh. <laughs> and that's your tech tip. That's, and that's your tech tip. There's your tech tip. There, and there's your tech tip. Why do I keep saying that? I've never said it. There's your tech tip.